Okay, so stripping silence on tracks is very important. You won't really come across a lot of muddied up noise in uh, virtual instrument tracks, such as this bass or the kick drum or things like that, unless it's a live recorded instrument by a microphone. But you will come across it on vocal tracks very often, especially when it comes to artists that are recording in a small area, uh, such as a bedroom or a room where the engineer is recording in the same room as the artist. This is actually becoming much more common than it used to be because everybody could afford their own recording setup these days. So what you want to do is you want to increase the size of your waveform while looking at your vocal track. As you can see here, even though when it's smaller, you don't see anything, you just see this line. When it's expanded, you could see that there actually is some audio information there and it's unnecessary. So you want to solo, solo this out. On Pro Tools, you could use a uh, key command, Command U, and it'll bring up the strip silence menu and you could uh, select the threshold to choose what you want to cut out and what not to cut out. We're going to go in and do it manually just for the sake of demonstration. So as you can see, his verse starts on this track right at this transient. So you want to select right there and you just want to make a splice. And at this point, you could select all this unuseful information and delete it. And then just create a small fade in right here so you don't get a clip when it comes in. And basically, you want to do that for every single track at every point of silence. It's a tedious task, but it really separates the good engineers from the great engineers. So once you're done doing that, you're going to go to the next track and next track. And all these small parts in the middle as well. Don't be afraid to delete those. You could delete everything and then go back and do all the fades. That's generally what I do. Especially if I'm using the command U strip silence uh, command. Because all that does is just deletes all the silent areas. Now, a thing that a lot of people have a problem with when doing this is you don't really sorry let me just get this cleaned up and drag this fade you're going to be constantly cleaning up these fades and just making them clean in general so you can see that there that's a clean fade but like I was saying, a lot of times artists won't like the sound of this when it's just soloed out and there's no instruments playing in the background. For example, I'll play this right now. It's going to sound spotty. Sipping this holy water, plotting to take over. Demons all after me. I hit that bitch with the cold shoulder. I need my mind. You could hear it kind of coming in and out of itself. Now, artists usually won't like that so much, but when it's in context of the beat, you don't hear that at all. And once you add time-based effects, such as reverbs and delays, that smooths everything out. So just go ahead and clean up all of these silent areas and get a nice clean vocal track. And then once you're done with that, I'll meet you at the next step. 